and I stared off the end of the balcony onto the ravaged world beneath me and wondered what sort of beast could have done such a thing and then I entered Peach's room and wished I could sleep in her bed because I am a perv like that and so I walked by the fireplace and it was really warm and examined it and it said what a big fireplace and what a cozy fire yes I would have liked to sleep in that fire and then I exited Peach's room so I could not be a hypocrite like I said in the last part I wasn't going to enter Peach's room because it's a time waster and I still stand by that fact it is a waste of time even though it is kind of cool to be able to get to go into somebody else's room as a different character than Peach because Peach controls very badly anyway I stopped going on my diatribe about how horrible Peach controls and how Mario was just in her room and I entered the next room that we had never seen before actually we had as we were Peach but enough about that Let's climb up these stairs. Alright, everybody. Ah, uh, enough of that. I am Third Mario Brother back again with more Let's Play Paper Mario. And in this part, we are going to be starting the fight with that guy over there. Peach is just, like, floating next to him. That's weird. Anyway, let's go in here. And, just a warning. This is the last save block in Paper Mario. So, if you want to continue after you beat the final boss coming up here in a minute, you will have to backtrack out of Bowser's castle because there's no saving after you beat the final boss and you won't start anywhere else. Anyway, let's go on up these stairs. Oh, I'm going to change my badges just a bit. Thank, thank Dobby that I remembered that. Um, I don't think I'm going to need the quick change badge anymore because I know what partners to use. I hope. And the Zap Tap badge. There we go. And, oops, I forgot to put on something else. I'm probably going to put on triple dip, just in case I need to use some sort of thing. And, um, I really don't know what else I should put on. Let's see, refund? No, not going to need that. Not going to need any of those danger things, not pee up. Um, I guess I'll put on super jump charge, just for good measure. And I'm actually going to save, so be right back. Okay, uh, we're back, but as weird as it sounds, I'm going to take off the Power Bounce badge and put on the D-Down Pound badge for reasons that you will see in a bit, because I totally forgot about what's coming up over here. Anyway, through this door. The music is still being ominous and very dangerous sounding. No hidden blocks, that would have been funny if there were. Anyway, there's this paper-thin platform here, and we get to walk across it into this arena-looking thing. Grahahaha! <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare! You should thank me, Mario! Since you've been my rival for so long, I've arranged a special arena for your defeat! Oh boy, this really is our nightmare, isn't it? This is really not boding well. This is bad. Grahaha! <laughs> like it? You're completely trapped! How does it feel, huh? Yeah, that makes my throat all scratchy. Mario, be careful! <laughs> you fell right into a trap and you call yourself a hero! Did you think we were foolish enough just to sit back and watch as you save the Star Spirits? I put together a little surprise for you, a device that increases Bowser's power. King Bowser will be so powerful that not even the power of the Star Spirits can compare. It will now be truly invincible thanks to my wisdom. Are you ready, my king? Then power up! Just like Goku on DBZ. Oh boy, there's lightning striking it, the eyes are glimmering slightly. And there's a vortex of shadow power around Bowser, and he's glowing now. Oh, yes! Oh, Kami Koopa, that was incredible! I feel like I'm exploding with power! That could be taken out of context. Now I'll be able to squash this cheeky plumber! Okay. Hey you, Mario, it's not gonna be like before, you must ask loser, prepare to be beaten! This time around, Bowser's attacks are virtually the exact same as they were before. He has 99 HP now, though. He also has two points of defense. And his attacks are the same, but they are powered up this time. And I'm Paralysis won't work on him this time. Timeout won't work on him. Stopwatches won't work. Nothing of the sort will work. And as you can see, his attacks are very powerful, like I said. And I really didn't guard against it well. And I took off Power Bounce because he has two points of defense and... Power bounce really would not work well if we were doing that since it cut you off. <laughs> Time to increase my power with my good old star rod. Bowser, 
you're really making a mistake here. You know that just stalls the entire fight and makes the entire process take a little bit longer? We could just use our super powerful star beam, which briefly stops the star rod's power, so says the description. Alright, star spirits, do your thing. One more time, just take out his invincibility, and here we go. Come on. What? What? Oh, you idiot, that attack doesn't affect me anymore. Oh no, we're in trouble. The star beam doesn't work. Oh, that bad monster is going to beat us up now for sure. You said it, Watt, but what's going on over here? Oh no, brave Mario. What can I do? The way things are going, Bowser will surely defeat him. Somebody, please help Mario. Why do you have to constantly run your mouth? Keep quiet! That's like the only time thing she said in this entire game. <laughs> Twink just knocks her off the broom. Oh, Princess Peach, are you alright? I'll get you out of those ropes. Couldn't you have done this at an earlier time, Twink? Twink, I'm so glad you're okay! Do -do -do. She's like spinning around. You insolent little star kid! How dare you! And here begins a battle where we get to be somebody other than Mario. You little whippersnapper, you're too young to fight me. I, I, I'm not afraid of you. He says as his voice was all shaky. Oh, be careful, Twink. And he only has one attack, no items, no strategies, no nothing, no action commands, just dash. <laughs> Did I just feel a breeze? Was that really your attack? That's pretty much all we can do. And Princess Peach, same thing. All she can do is focus. Oh, Twink. Basically wishing Twink to get stronger. And now he's glittering a little bit. And just as in the beginning of the game, Kami Koopa's attacks are the exact same. She gets to create a block and drop it on the gate. I mean, Twink. Ouch, three damage. And we're not doing any damage to her. That's gotta hurt. Apparently we are now. Ow, why you little... So you can fight a little... Focus again, Princess Peach. A lot of people tend not to like this fight. I think it's good as a story device. It just could have been made shorter by a turn or two, because it's kind of boring since there are no action commands or anything. Anyway, Doink seems to be doing less and less damage every turn to us and more and more to her. What could be going on, huh? Yo, what's going on? Just as I just said. Why does it seem like the Star Kid's getting stronger? Well, apparently, every time we use Peach... His attack goes up by one, and his defense goes up by one. Because, watch this, last time, Kami Koopa did, what, two damage to us? This time... Boink, she does one. Alright, let's see, what's up, Kami Koopa? Bam, take that. <laughs> Get out my house. Peach, focus one more time. I I'm, like, commanding Peach. Peach, do this, Peach, do that. <laughs> anyway... Here Kevin Koopa goes with another block. I wish he had more attacks, too. Maybe just, like, different visually. That's another thing about this fight. And it didn't do any damage to us. It, it can't be. My attacks don't work. Oh, no. Now I remember the stars get all their power from an ordinary people's wishes. Peach's wishes are giving that little star kid power. And, okay, you realize that? Just a bit too late, Kami Koopa. Goodbye to your broomstick. Goodbye to you. You're out here. Ugh, King Bowser, I have failed you.